almost. All right. Just making sure that Mike is picking up. All right. Um, got that muted. Close the player. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me just uh, remember. What do I normally do when I stream? Ask myself that every night. <laughs> All right. Mm. Great, I still have <laughs> the hard slash song stuck in my head, but like it is bop music, but kinda in the mood for nonsense. Whatever is happening over here. I think I'm shooting at. What are what are y'all shooting at? Oh. Thankfully, no one got hurt. What happened? Uh. Anyway, I should send messages to peeps. Oh yeah, and I was messing around earlier with customization of, you know, Just Cause 2, Rico, Just Cause 3, and then Grenade! slightly older man, Rico. Okay, they're having fun blowing themselves up. <laughs> uh, Homie, what are you blowing up? What? Who's... Who's here left to kill? There's no one. I think the AI is just uh, doing something screwy here. Anyway, <laughs> let's pause that. And then, um... Yeah, it was kind of uh, just sending out invites to places, peeps. Well, uh, stuff is going. <laughs> Come on Discord on my laptop. Please don't uh fry yourself. Hmm. Not frying, it's just slowing down. Alright. Alright, not let's not I can maybe do that later. If I can Discord can decide to do anything. Yeah, whatever. I'll plug that later, but yeah, last time on uh, the fictional revolution, what did we do? Oh yes, we for sure cleared this region, and also don't worry about this yet. It's just um, some DLC I got from some Christmas money while uh, it was on sale, so that was a lucky find. But yeah. Which I'm planning to do maybe after 
do some cool stuff. Um, but no, I think first let's do some car stunts. Oh wait, no. Okay, now let me leave these. Let me actually pick a location to go to. All right, I think where I do, really want to head off to. Hmm. Is oh yeah. Let's head up here, clear this, take this out, maybe poke this, maybe. <laughs> but definitely, let's hit this up first. Let's bonk our head. What are these losers doing? They've... Ugh, I'm, uh, I'm out. <clears throat> no, I've actually never been to this waterfall. It's just nothing exciting. You know, just normal waterfall. Alright. Hmm. Let me take a sip of water. Some beat. Oh. I forgot that Linux wants to do that. Alright, cool. So I did that. Ah! Hey, Pidman. Glad that you have some breakfast. Oh, yeah. I am excited to poke out the, uh, poke at the DLC in a bit, but I think yeah, I kind of want to do this second big deal uh, weather machine bit and then uh, poke the rest down. Also I should equip this because I just need to do one more Wingsuit, uh, stunt. And then I'll be able to have the, you know, max powered, uh, black hand wing striker, whatever the term is. First, to kind of get my feet a bit wet. Let's uh, do this before the world explodes around me. Ah, uh, this is the vehicle. I assigned a couple recruits to look into it. Think you can give him a ride, Rico? Make sure nothing happens to him. Exercise caution, amigos. Black hand drones are mindless killing machines programmed by mindless killing machines. And then blown up by a si or no? Si or no? I, I cannot wait. 
Taking a shot. Okay, I was hoping to do some cold drifting there. Oh, oh no. Opening God, fire. I hate these drones. Okay, they're not being as terrible as they could be. But... Guess we don't have to search far for uh, drone activity. construction worker. I thought I'd need at least a few supplies from the front. Get him. Take your time. My legs. Ma'am, get going? in the car. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I guess she just had to stretch her legs. And the hello, okay. So nice to see both y'all in here. Oh I can. I won't let the Espinosas ruin anyone else's life. Ooh. Got distracted and no it's it's fine. It's fine. They'll be fine with that. Those card rails, right? Also I need a Remember that not every car is equal. Boop. Think I did something to my shoulder. Ah, cobardes. Hiding behind their team cans. Real soldiers grab their guns and fight for what's right. Alright. In all honesty, in all honesty, uh, these drones could be an incredible pain. So I'm very glad they're not being so terrible. Taking a shot! Like, some of them have, like, I don't know, it's not like rockets per se, but it's like. They can shoot something that hits hard. getting a real big kick of like, oh, there's these commanders, and I'm like, you know, they have the, their shield, which pretty much they're if they're facing now. you, unless you Every get a headshot, you can't really kill them by just bullet. I mean, explosions work wonders, but I mean, when you have a car, you know, it's like, it's, it's like the old thing, when you have a hammer, all problems start looking like uh, nails. Well, when it going against these dudes. Taking a shot. Do you want some of this? You know, one corruptly state uh, <laughs> is assaulting you. All problems look like nails. Anyway, let's. You're go. Ready. The people are ready. Done 
one stand a chance against us. Um, I don't think I can. I'm creative. Creative driving. Creative driving, I say, like crashing every damn thing. Opening fire! Okay. okay, now I'm being bad. Do you want some of this? I swear I know what I'm doing, or I have an idea what I'm trying to do. It's not a good idea. Also, I wish the AI in this game was better at, like, avoiding cars. Like, please, I'm being shot at. Don't get next to my car. Do you want some of this? <sighs> Taking a shot! Get the... Get out! Get out, you... for giving me medals for blowing up cars. Uh, no, I thought, oh, that uh, big failure didn't happen. <laughs> Loading saves is the best power a player character has. You're absolutely right, Pokemon. Alright. Alright, we did it! Get All right. All right, we did it. All right. And let's take care of this. Copy. We acquire target. Now. While I'm in the area, and it'll be the last one I'll need to do to contact with enemy. Regroup. upgrade the suit, but yeah. Let's... Oh, come on. Can I... Okay, no, I messed up. I... I think I could have salvaged that, but... using ha, my jet propulsion. Nice. Okay. So I took care of that. And, no, yeah, let's head this way. There. This way. Astriel, Astriel Blackout. Alright, cutting off the power to the control tower managing the shipyard will render the facility useless to the Black Hand. And... That's... Oh, that's our way. Um... Do I do the smart thing? Try to get... Well... Okay. I bet I can... Oh, know what? It... 
Actually, wait, no. Okay, I have an idea. Let me not have a uh, spy plane dropped right onto a busy street. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to do it. Instead of a car. Oh, and what's that? Okay, so is this game like Saints Row where you're trying to flip all the areas to your faction? Yes, that is a good way to put it. You are, in fact, trying to get as many things to your faction as you can. And do I have any planes yet? No, I don't. Or I do have a plane from a DLC thing. I think. Ah, here it is. Where is it? I am terrible at flying this thing. But yeah. Like, at the start of the game, um... You find out that Rico's dad <clears throat> was a scientist who worked on a weather machine project because this is an action spy movie, and of course that makes sense. And, uh. <clears throat> Let's see here, what else? It's a weather machine, it's island, there's a dictator who is, you know, in control of this whole island, South American island nation, and you get kind of roped into helping them fight for their uh, freedom. Let's roll. And now I'm trying to uh, launch a plane <laughs> from this road because I'm smart. But yeah, you're trying to liberate the entire country to the People's Army, the Army of Chaos, as it's called, because of course that that's how planes launch. Yep. Exactly. And also, I hate how jets pilot in this game, but they're kind of fun. Okay, this one doesn't have missiles, so it's less fun, but it's... It has some cool stuff. Uh, like... A cloak. Why does this need a cloak? No clue. Well, then again, it is a stealth... Stealth plane kind of deal. Has machine guns. And also, I can do this. No, oh, wait, no. I want to get away from here. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from here. Because this area is protected by a stationary uh, lightning storm. And I kind of forgot that I'm flying just right over it, so I need to get out Prospero of there. Prospero Astillero is the central shipyard for Espinosa's Prospero Company. And the Black Hand. Get some intel. I'll tell you when I'm there. All right. What needs to be attacked? I'm at Prospero Astillero. Listo. So, if you can destroy the backup power system at the command tower, you'll shut down the factory. <laughs> but getting to it okay, won't be easy. Are you okay? You've got a plan. Step okay. one. Access the console I've marked and put in the code I'm sending you. I have a kitty that's having some issues. It's just coughing, I think. Copy. Enemy presence. Reinforcements are inbound. But yeah. Let's go until I just completely make a fool of myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I didn't die. I really probably should have, but I didn't. You need to get you need to get to a shrine so that you can get part of the fish rubber <laughs> fish help oh, rubber suit. Yeah. Oh. Let's bail. <laughs> Brilliant idea. By moi. Kitty cat. Okay. Little chest cough. Alright. What? What crash? I didn't crash. That never happened. Didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. God, I wish there was a rubber suit in this game to just make you invincible to lightning. It would really benefit this game. Please, sir. I'm trying to... Just cause some quantum destruction. Also, out of habit. Oh, I've unlocked this. Kitty. Work at. Oh, hey, Muse. What's up? I'm comforting a cat that's being silly. Um, yeah. To hover. Actually. Let's. And I forgot. I need to actually set this right. For my purpose of kind of a gag, but we had to help Comrade Orb. Come on, you got this. I think I'm ready 
to actually start doing things. Um, how's Comrade Orb? Still liberated, but kind of chilling there. Alright then. Um, is there anything I should really annihilate while I have this? Uh, let's just cause some mischief, man. And then... You know what? I'm gonna try to park this. Hopefully not get gunned down in a hell fire. With gunfire. Uh, Alright. Alright. Easy. I punched in your core. Oh. Listo. System cycles quickly. Get to the other towers and input the code at those consoles as well. Copy. Uh, Come on. I was about to say, I have plenty of time, but... Yeah. Alright, still have plenty of time. Alright, I didn't Found die you. from that. That's the last one. <laughs> also, I love Easy. all these dudes. <laughs> Just like, aha, I found you. And Activating it's like, doors at outlying power sir? stations. Head to those power stations sir. and disable them. You'll need to use the waterway doors. I have a only way gun. in. They may only allow a certain kind of boat to pass. Black hand security, no? Reach. All right. See, this is the last thing any shoulder, uh, soldier should want is a Swiss Army knife, Rico, to find them. <laughs> yep. Only Jetports can pass this scanner. I'm marking an area for oh. you. Search there. Is yeah, this what I want? Yes, it is. What happens once I get inside? Deactivate the main power console. Once both are out of commission, the backup will kick in near the control tower. Then I take it out. You're the man, Rico. Come on. <laughs> Fly, you fool. One man band weapons. Yeah. This station's off. One more to go. 
Rico's big drum is the drum of his belt fed machine gun. Exactly. Um. Wait, is this the. Oh, this is. Alright. Uh, for those who haven't watched any of my uh, Just Cause 4 streams before, uh, this is something boats can do in real life, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about the gun. I'm talking specifically about. Uh, wrong button. Boats can jump, right? They just have a <laughs> hyd hydraulics. I, I'm not quite sure what exactly that is for a dip jump like that. The enemies don't seem to really use that functionality. So, no clue about why their boats can just... They can just do that. Also, come on. Oh, I am. No, I had stunt vehicles being able to jump makes sense. Uh, but these are military vehicles, though. That's the thing. I should, I should probably stop blowing up all these in case I need one of those. So I should probably ease it on the destruction. Yeah, it does sound like compressed air cannons. Looks like only patrol boats are allowed in here. Shipyard. You have to be out. Check these coordinates. Uh, switch to Stormwatch. Oh yeah, I have the the location of my Twitch, uh, my streaming status bar covers the name of the boats on my screen. Oops. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. It was literally the type of boat I was wondering that I shouldn't destroy as much. The moves. Muse. Rico has a Midas touch, but instead of gold, he turns things into action versions of themselves. I mean, literally, that's what he does. He just sort of does that. I mean, any vehicle Rico's in just survives longer. But only when he's in it. That's the important thing. Like, literally, only while he's in it. Because there's been times where if it left a vehicle, tried going back in, and it immediately explodes. Because, like... Because he wasn't specifically in it for a little bit of time. <laughs> for that short duration that I left and went back in. It is a superpower. That's it. Power's down. The backup generator is online. We'll blow it up, and this shipyard is useless to the Black Hand. Please. Okay, I am. Let's, let's move it. 
No, that said, my only fault with the boats in this game is that there's not enough like rivers, I think, or there's not, you know, there's not enough water to want to call in a boat most of the time. Because some of these boats are honestly really fun, like, they can jump and shoot mortars, mortar rounds like this. Who would they want that? I can aim, <laughs> I can aim at the explosive, <laughs> at the, uh, the propane tanks that are... Seriously, me well. Way to go. Oh, they're, sh they're shooting at me. Someone's shooting at me. Have fun in space. Will you actually go to space or will you just be stuck there? No, have fun there. Over here. Right. That's all. Wait, Rico, hang on. Izzy's picked up a transmission. The boats I'm marking for you, sink them. On it. What's going on? Factories General and his Comandante are fleeing with prototype weapons they've been developing with Zona 2. Don't let them get away with those. Might be useful. And that's the General uh, is that gone? Oh wow. Way to go, champ. Up you go. Alright. Comandante is down. Nice. All those weapon prototypes out of the wrecks. Maybe Mira can put them to good use. You got it, Hefe. Once we get this factory back online, it'll be huge for our naval efforts. Command, we have lost vision. All right, and with the use of movie magic or video games that work basically like movies, we have the Army of Chaos has conquered Prospero. Astiel. Astiel. Nice. I know it. Let's Thunder Barge. All right, then let's do this to uh, continue this uh, bit main quest. And the reason why we're hitting these specific areas is like, is there some merciful vehicles in this game? I don't think so. Also, yeah, there's no river. There's technically here, but it hits this dam. So yeah. But, um, it's because, like, there's one main, one huge weather machine that the, like, dictator of this country, he lives at, like, the very top of it, and it's pretty much protected by a permanent blizzard, or, like, an on-demand blizzard that, um, actually, I can, since I remember well enough, I think, where is it? Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, yeah, it's like it's here. Yeah, like we start the game trying to salt here. The blizzard happens. We get yeeted. Like, uh, where is this? No. We get eated all the way, like, no, 
We get yeeted pretty much somewhere over here. I'm trying to remember the exact city. But yeah, we get yeeted really far though. But yeah, it's a shame there's no submersibles in this game. Like, I kind of get why. I mean, and also you can you can do this in this game. You can have, you know, jetpacks or <laughs> jet propulsion on your wingsuit and fly around and it's like, I get it, this is tight. But I kind of wish that they made the uh, water, you know, like the marine vehicles or the, yeah, the water, like something you'd actually use more often by like having more bodies of water run or larger body bodies of water or something or something you know you know what i'm saying and yeah lighting in this game is pretty and it handles you know it's like i know a lot of people complain about like some of the textures which is fair especially during some of the cutscenes like oh boy some of these cutscenes are rough <laughs> but <laughs> like it's, you know, it does what I want. This game does what I want it to do, which is be bombastic and like an action movie. I wish some of the visuals are better, but at the same time, it handles so many explosions on screen really well. Like, it, it, it does what is most important for itself. Oh yeah, the fog. Ah, the sun through the fog is always really nice. Also, before... All right, let's do this before any more enemies spawn. Where's Mira? We're ready to go. Needed elsewhere. She asked me to drive instead, which I'm assuming is her version of running the parent trap. A parent trap? Yeah, she's tricking us into working together as a team. <sighs> Come on, let's get this iron coil to Prospero Astiero. Mind if I drive? I'd rather not end up wrapped around the capo tree. You're not still sore about that fruit stand in Patagonia, are you? We got there. Eventually. Hey. Move over. <laughs> See the muse. What? You what? Never seen that Lindsay Lohan movie, Rico? All You're systems, missing out. Let's get this show on the road, amigo. <laughs> God. Um, yeah. No, there's also, how did you end up in goats? Came to find me a Medici. Told me my father built some sort of weapon. You know, kid, if you'd answered any one of my hundred calls, I could have told you the same. All you do is manipulate the truth, Sheldon. It's only later that I find out what you're really after. Jesus, kid, is that really what it's come to? Shall we talk about what happened in Medici? Fine. If that's the way you want this dance to go, then that's the way it'll go. Roadblock ahead, Rico. I see it. Oh, now they're mad. <laughs> on sight. Oh. On sight. Mira. No, whatever. Let's go. We're seeing numerous black hand units between Mediolab and Prospero also, Astiero. I love how pink this uh, army of chaos car is. Be careful, guys. That chopper's gunning for us, Rico. Come on. Get. Alright. Yeah, this game does handle chaos well. I kind of wish I could have an auto pilot. Like. Sometimes I'd like to just uh, shoot. What? Huh? Sorry, I just. Uh. I. What? Come on. Come on. Yes, 
Ah, it still trips me up how much air control you have with literally any car, basically. of chaos must have these black hand pretty riled up if they're after you like this. Seems like it. Yes, Espinoza doesn't appreciate you starting fires on his tidy little Thank island. You, yeah, some fires need starting. That they do. Oh boy. What? Uh. Rico, what the hell are you doing? He's amphibious, Sheldon. Shit, that's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is actually good game design, that this car is, is uh, this vehicle's amphibious. And also the fact that uh, cars can just plow through trees. Yeehaw. What? Why? Why? What happened? I'm just, I'm just driving here. Why am I flying? Here, Shut up, Sheldon. Ah, yes. Stunt ramps. Clearly the best spot to put them in the Is roadblock. The place? Yes. Sargento, we're home. Come on in, Rico. We'll take care of the black hand on your tail. Look, don't question why exploding a car right next to me doesn't uh, immediately mess me up. It's called action movie logic. Hey, another possum. Yes, I love the Army of Chaos tanks and vehicles. They're very neon and pink. Please, construction workers. I, please, I know your AI isn't great, but let me through. <laughs> There's, I must cause destruction. And there's, there's a little drone flying over there. Really? Really? Come on. Why there? Why do I have to snipe a drone with a machine gun? But starting to target my own. Wait, this is amphibious. Fuck it. No. <laughs> Okay. Oh, don't worry about that. I have some ideas for some modifications we can make. Nice shooting earlier. Thanks. Your people work fast. Now, you and Mira got quite an operation going here. They just want things here to change. How's it feel? Having an army. He's growing on me. <laughs> Seems like it. Well, I always thought leadership suited you, kid. We better make sure that boat has some firepower. Mir and I got it all under control. We'll, uh, have her ship shape for you in no time. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, Rico. What do you want to name her? Tricol something. How about... Thunderbarge? <laughs> Thunderbarge. <laughs> 
Yes, the dead puns. This is very much an action. Like, it, I kind of wish the cutscenes were better. Look. Game, don't do that. Don't have don't have this boat twitch out. But yeah, I was about to say, I, I kind of wish. Um. <laughs> nice, and now we can. What? Huh? What? Okay. No, I. Since we're here, actually, I'm trying to think of what all do we have. Ah, this is where the mission officially starts. But while I'm here, let's take a small detour before hitting that and hit a tomb. But yeah, this. The reason why this Thunder Barge is being built is because this is the area protected by a constant lightning storm. And to get in there, we need a lightning-proof boat to go along the river. And thus, we have finally built the lightning-proof the lightning -proof boat. The, the, the very dad pun named Lightning Barge. And right now we're doing some stuff... Uh, if I can remember where to find it. Where is it? Where? Because uh. Uh, there's also an archaeologist trying to find information that the uh, government hides about the native people of this region and I'm trying you know there's like a riddle found in several tombs and I'm trying to remember Altarangles find the tomb uh which tomb no that's absolutely not what I want <laughs> please help me find this one mission Lightning and Thunder, the names are Eagle's Fist. No, yeah, that's fair. Also, I kind of want to take a small breather to do this. Okay, I think it's probably over here. Ah, three point something kilometers. We can get there in time. First you hit the lightning, er, first you get the lightning, then the thunder. Nice. Rico would make such a joke like that. I believe it. He operates entirely by action movie logic, so yeah, no, that attracts. And I didn't die. So that's good. This place. I'm ashamed to tell you, Rico, that in my youth, I was one of the researchers responsible for sanitizing this ruin. This really does take nice pictures. Alright. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, first let me find what I need to do. Because, okay, I know what I need to do. I need to get that onto a mechanism. But I need to find where that mechanism is. Because it's usually like a big... Hole, not like a hole in the ground, but it's like... It's a... I'm trying to remember the name of it in Legend of Zelda games. You know, where it's like you had to move something onto a spot. Pressure plate kind of deal, that's what it's called. Okay, it's... right. There. Okay, how do I... What? Alright. I... I meant to do that six stunt on purpose. A hundred percent. Yeah! 
You said you had a part in sanitizing this place. Archaeologists in Solis are trained to reconstruct the truth. We were historical spin doctors, nothing more. This place was my first assignment, fresh from school. A park celebrating the false history. My eyes were opened here. Everyone get the fuck out. Be glad they were opened at Get all. the fuck out. <laughs> get Every out. Every day, my friend. Ironically, I'm sorry, sir. Rogo's fiercest general and ally. Rumored to have killed hundreds of Spaniards, despite their superior weaponry and armor, is buried in this mockery of history. What was his name? Sadly, lost to Espinosa manipulation of the facts. I hope we can restore yeah. it somehow. I'm trying to remember. Um, okay, I think... I think I can puzzle this out and how to not have people just die. Um, okay, first, this I want to set probably low. Maybe, maybe no, it lets you low. Uh, balloons hover. Actually, this is a dumb idea. Let's let's be get crazy. Get stupid. Um. Right. If you couldn't see, I made it so that uh that floats high in the air. Or like fifteen meters in the air. But wants to follow me. So let's hope. People let's Yeah. Yeah. Please. I'm a please. Please give me room. I am shooting a lightning weapon. Please. <laughs> I know there wasn't much programming into like the civilian AI, but at the same time, I, if I can, I'd rather not uh, destroy them by bopping them on the head by a giant uh, statue head. Alright, this is going so much better than the first time I played this game and tried this. Because, oh boy, I... There were mistakes. <laughs> uh, including accidentally flinging that, like, mile, like... So many hundreds of meters into the air. And landing all over the place. It was, uh, a mess. Wrong one. Wrong one. No, 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 no. Alright. Come on. Okay, if I keep... The limit of balloons that can be added is 10, so eventually... Alright, cool. <sighs> Shooting balloons into Majora's Moon. Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Okay. 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 Actually... <laughs> I just stand on it. We'll stabilize a bit. All right. Also, but and I didn't die. We struggled to solve this riddle in my youth. When it defeated us, we simply built this heinous park to hide it in plain sight. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Hmm. Fun times. Did I get myself stuck in here? Oh no.
All right. Get. Get into your whole place. Thank you. All right. <coughs> Rico's just taking a nap, and we're in. Hmm. Far in the east, in third among. Another broken line. No help. No help? Rico. In third. Evidence that we will find Otorongo's burial ground. But where in the east? We are making some progress, but I don't yet understand the significance. Por favor, Rico. You must help me find more verses. <laughs> Stair bump. Yep. Flop. Flop or whatever. But yeah. So we took a small detour. I'll look at that later. To do some puzzle solving that I kind of sidestepped by just uh, balloons. But let's do something big, I think. No, yeah, let's do something big and then work on maybe capturing some, pushing ahead, capturing some regions, like over this way or something, or maybe up here. Either one works. Operation Thunder Barge. The lightning proof boat is ready. Meet Mira and Sheldon at the. Casquillos, 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 to commence the Operation Storm Zona 2. Yeah, yeah, I didn't sidestep uh, puzzle solving. I did, I just straight up solved it, but yeah, any solution counts. I mean, I just had the extraordinarily great tools at it. I mean, someone got uh, annihilated by a looming stone face crashing into them. But, I mean, I was shooting a lightning gun, and people didn't run away in panic. So, I mean, what else could I... Oh! Well, I could have potentially flung him away. But, all my, uh, tethers are kind of set for war. And now I... You're right, because these things happen. What's that? Have I been there before? Well, if I haven't, then I'll get out my map. Anyone not immediately running out of the sight of Rico? <laughs> Only have seconds to live anyway. I mean, yeah, that said, one complaint I have about this game is that, I mean, to help better, you know, suit the whole of, you know, your army of chaos fighting for, to liberate the people of uh, Solis, I kind of wish that during combat encounters, like, when you have your heat meter on, which is kind of like, you know, your wanted level in your uh, Saints Rose or Grand Theft Autos, that like non combatants or allies. Wow. Rammed right into a tree. I think I destroyed part of the tree. I still died though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I wish they would be highlighted or something so that you know, like, oh hey, that's a, that's a homie. Don't shoot them. Or be cautious of your lightning grenades, which. I, ha I don't really use that often because they just kind of hit everything indiscriminately. And... Is there a helicopter? There's not a helicopter here. Yeah, there is. Uh.
Oh, sorry, there's a little kitty cat that made some squeaks. Off we go. Also, I wish I can turn on the radio because the radio in this game is really jamming. But you know, copyright nonsense. I mean, there's only one that wouldn't be copyright nonsense, and it's like the kind of in-game, kind of talk show radio deal. <laughs> Actually, Muse, uh, the lightning grenades you shoot out, they will hit the same target, like, two or three times. Actually, by indiscriminately, I should say, who they target is indiscriminate. What they destroy, it's, it's destroyed with incredible amounts of intent. Just absolute amounts of intent. Nice. All right. My weapons have been uh, refueled. <laughs> Why? Goodbye. I just attached an explosive. Know what? We're out. Guess what? I, I'm activating the mission. None of y'all are here anymore. Ha. Get out of my face. <laughs> God, uh. Be both ready. See, si. and not a moment too soon. The Black Hand are setting up patrols all along the Rio and I. They're putting the pieces together. We're running out of time. Get airborne. When we reach Zona Dos, I'll disable the cord that's controlling the storm. As soon as this one clears... I'll fly in and use the cord to access the Yapa network, bringing down the defense node. Bueno, Sheldon, join with me. What do we know about the Lightning Corps' defenses? Well, aside from lightning, <laughs> uh, there's some shielding held in place by magnetic locks, but we'll take care of the locks once we get in there. And we gave you that extra firepower you asked for. Could be useful. Hmm. 50 cal, mortar, anything else? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Meet you there. You ready? Just like old times, amigo. Nice, there's some photos on there. All right, let's get in. Think these boats are really gonna protect us from the lightning? Absolutely. Well, why else would I have volunteered to sit at the highest point of the vessel with my hands wrapped around a giant piece of metal? Also, I love that it's now night. And of course, this boat has to jump. Here they come. You're gonna have to kill the power to the locks on those doors. Watch the boat. I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. 
Well, okay, I'm no longer stuck. Okay. Okay, game. Generator down. All right. Blow up the other one, and we'll get out of here. Yeah, that's a downside to chaos. Sometimes, uh, chaos reigns, and uh, weird things happen. Like they did it. Full steam ahead. Um, can I even get out my boat? I don't think I. Well, I think I. I think technically I can. If I clear out some enemies. Don't die. Clear some enemies and be incredibly careful around the ship. I may be able to salvage this without just blowing up the ship and just uh, restarting, which I may may end up happening anyway. Oh god! Oh dear! Oh no! Yeah, I'm probably gonna just have to blow this up. I. Oh no. Um, is there anything else I want to edit? Uh, yeah, just float. Yeah. No, it following may work. Okay, that's okay. That's too weak. I need to bump it up, and also, yeah, follow. Er. Uh, uh who's, who's shooting my boat? <laughs> Sheldon? Are you... No, I, I think I just had to blow this up. Sheldon? Sheldon? You're slimy. Where were you? Yep, just standing on the boat sideways. Know it? Uh. 
Sorry, Sheldon. I had to reset the timeline. <laughs> I'm still shocked of what just happened. Of just something bumped me and I went flying. Like, I was playing it earlier. I was playing this game earlier today. I wasn't using boats, but... I mean... I don't remember that happening. Looks like they did it. Full steam ahead. Alright, did it save me blowing up the generators? Okay, I think it did, actually. Bump. You hear that? The falls are coming up! You nervous, Sheldon? Yeah, a little. But that's what makes it fun, though. <laughs> Holy hell! What ah, just happened? It. I think oh, I jumped nice. off the wrong path that they thought I would choose. Oh well. Before we hit this storm, listen up. We figured out a way to connect the ion coil to the Thunder Barge's mortar. We? was my idea. Mira just did the grunt work of hooking everything up. So how's it work? Hell if I know. Positivity streams or something. Mira. Your ion coil absorbs the lightning. When it's charged, whatever you hit, lightning strike. I call it the Thunder Gun. You're on a roll, Sheldon. Mandated action jump got cut <laughs> for time constraints, yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, storm. Ship, you're just a number, normal boat. Oh no, you're a enemy ship. I should blow you up. I keep avoiding the light. <laughs> Found Zona Dos. Full throttle, Rico. We need speed to get over that wall. Woo! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Bring boy. down the lightning rods Shit. protecting Zona Dos. It's our best shot to neutralize the core. And okay. No longer stuck. Alright, let me see if there's anything I can do from here. Or target from here, I should say. Actually, I may have a target. Okay, no, I can't. 
or can I? Can I target it from here? Alright. Had to get out of my ship. And uh, not die. Take out their power cells on each side. Avoided being annihilated completely by lightning. Well, that sure doing something. This is a very cool set piece, especially whenever you have fully upgraded wingsuit and you can just try flying around. Uh. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to focus. not to get blasted by lightning. Uh, Alright, I don't have... Alright! She'll be able to take out that defense node from there. She's good. Let's leave her to it then. I got something to show you. <laughs> there we go. Go cutscene mode. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What is this, Sheldon? Well. When I was researching Solis and your father's situation, I heard about an old agency outpost used to be near here. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I didn't want to get your hopes up, but I thought we might find something out about your old man. Now, this was his project, after all. Let's see here. <laughs> Are you...
This place has been here a while. At least 30 years, I'd reckon. A surveillance outpost. This must have been where they kept tabs on the Ayapa project. Espinoza. Your dad. And the weather technology. How long has the agency known about these? Here. This looks like a good place to start. Hey, it still works. The Yaba project. This is interesting. What did you find? Surveillance footage. Your dad's name is in the file. Miguel Rodriguez. Play it. Do you have any idea what I sacrificed for Project Iapa? Miguel, no. I refuse to play part in this any longer. Good luck finishing Iapa without me or my work. If Miguel Rodriguez is allowed to leave this project, he'll be a serious liability. If we were to take care of that liability now, Lanza Morales' work on Zona Uno would suffer. No. Let Miguel leave. Let Lanza hear that he reunited with his family. Then what? I have Black Hand in Medici under the command of Sebastiano di Ravello, who, last I checked, is in the agency's pocket. I need to speak to General di Ravello. <sighs> Thank you for your contribution to Project Diapa, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Rico, I had no idea. You gotta believe me. It never made any sense why Di Ravello killed my parents. It was the agency and Espinosa using that idiot dictator's crew as a cover. How could you not know anything about this? I didn't know anything about Project Iapa or your parents or any of this back then. I was brand new at the agency. This sort of thing was way above my pay grade. I only had orders to save you. I'll tell you this, kid. You and me, we're gonna end Oscar Espinoza and take out Project Iapa together. I knew the agency was dirty, but... Look, why don't you head topside, get some fresh air. I'll keep snooping around here, okay? You let me know if you find anything else. Dean and ready to go. You? Nothing to report. Everything okay? You sound... Bring it down. Okay. He's gonna drop something on me in a second, but yeah. And yeah, Muse. <laughs> Not to quote you, I really thought he was examining the stone. Be like, ah, yes, this is the stone. And yeah. Like, um, yeah, Rico's parents were killed in a fictional Mediterranean island nation of Medici during a coup. He joins the agency kind of soon afterwards leads into the other games, etc, etc. Et and let's uh, I unlock a railgun from this. Oh nice. Actually let me edit do some 
Reptile A AAV. Uh, heavy weapons. L gun. Like Ah, here it is. Control the lamb. Return to Zone 2 in the Kinku region or Meteo Lab or in this region to activate the Lightning Core on demand. With Cool. So we can activate and deactivate the Lightning Storm at a press of button. Oh! And yeah. Yeah, in earlier games you would talk about his family. I never played the third one. I've played the second, and I played a demo for the first one, but... Yeah. Feek. Okay. If I can... Okay, that was incredibly sloppy, but That's it. That's the shot. did it. And apparently Garland was filming that. Alrighty. Alright. Alright. So after that big reveal, let's... Um, I could activate this DLC, which activates this whole thing with weird monsters and stuff, but I kind of want to hold back on that, but that said, I think advancing and just kind of circling around wouldn't be a bad idea, especially since I think the first DLC content pack whatever deal is around here, which may be fun, but Let's see here. Not... Hmm. Oh yeah, let's... Since I took out two of the zones, which took out two of the defense towers for the main machine, I think. Let's... Wait, what's this? Scene, Vanessa. Vanessa! Garland King promises the scene will be among her most iconic. The terrain represents Rico's internal emotional wasteland. Now let, let's mess around with doing car stuff for a bit. Because I think the DLC thing I'm messing with is some car stuff, which, like, I got them on during, uh, when they were on sale from some Christmas money. I was like, no, what? they're on sale. I'm honestly having a blast with this game. Let's... Uh, the DLC were, like, all in, uh... an expansion pass oh, sort of deal. So I was able to get them all for, like, ten bucks. When the expansion pass is normally, like, thirty. I'm like, no, what? I'm having tons of fun with this game. Getting that wouldn't hurt. And honestly, some of the car races in this are fun. Like, the, the car driving can be really fun in this. Also jank, but also very fun. If things go well. And something exploded off in the distance, but... Let's not think about that now. Yeah, ten bucks isn't like I'm like no I I like Here's the like I off. how far sister oh, got she's down. talking you're afraid afraid vulnerable even the hitman's in the other car so you drive like hell <laughs> all right well we're for that I think. Back when I was playing this before, I pretty much did most all the cities and cleared them out completely and gotten cleared out areas like up to here. I think the only area I didn't really get was like 
these desert areas. So like, I pretty much played through most, of, like most of this game before, and I'm like, no, what? I'm having fun doing it. You just again. gotta hit the marks we've laid out fast as you can. I'll make sure we look cool. Yeah, like when they're in a car that handles well enough, driving can be fun to this. So I was like, oh yeah, let's we'll get all of them. Because I know one is more car focused, car like weird underground street races and whatnot with cars with like cannons on them or some nonsense. I was like, no, that could be fun. The other ones were like more like normal action pack stuff. What involves terrain. fighting the agency? It's a reflection of your inner turmoil. Oh god. Remember, uh, pain. I'm sorry. Anguish. I don't do anguish. I'm sorry. You will when the effects department is done with you. <laughs> also, I forgot that, yeah, this is this uh, zone's defense. A perpetual uh, sandstorm. So yeah, that's where I can see uh, anything. by the agency, but sure, you don't do English. Also, I forgot that we drive through an active fucking the Black Hand base and they're shooting at us with sentry turrets. Oh boy. Alright, here we come. It's hopeless. You drive your car off the bridge and into the abyss below. And when you do, just scream, Vanessa! Who is Vanessa? Totally can imagine Rico just receiving emails of these scripts and just refusing to read them. Vanessa. Parachute. Later. Nice jump. Lots of panache. You can head back to your trailer or your tree, wherever you go when you're not on set looking pretty. That was some smooth I couldn't. steering. Thanks, man. I wanted the car to blow up, and I can guarantee that if I could have jumped out of it. Problem was, I couldn't parachute jump out of it so that I wouldn't die. <laughs> Um, and Pimon, uh, my parents are dead, Ralph, Raphael Calabunga. God, he's such a bad actor. Does Rico ever know what emails are? Uh, even after being reminded, he didn't say anything. Good job, Rico. Yeah, no, Senor Rico is a bad actor. Rodriguez, leader of the big, bad army of chaos. Who is this? Your army's having some... Trouble. What kind of trouble? I'm sending you coordinates. Nos hablamos. <sighs> no, it. Yeah. yeah. No, it. You stay here, car. Pat, pat. Uh, <laughs> um, that said, let's take care of this. I think. And then move here. Because whoever's threatening us. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Oconegro shut down. The oil refinery is automated. Hack the system, take over the network, rendering the mine defenseless. Alright. Rico, you got time? There's a refinery nearby you should check out. A refinery? See, si, part of Mina Roca Negra. Most of it's oh, yeah, this game has heavy motion blur. Sense. It means a lot of plata coming to us, and a lot less to the Black Hand. Good thinking. I'll be in touch. Also, uh, one thing I love about this game is that it's kind of... Okay, this game is very pro, just blow everything up, but it's just like... It, that includes places that you're planning to take over for the army of chaos. So it's like, oh, there's an oil refinery? We can just blow it up, whatever. I'm we'll fix it, I guess. Don't worry yeah. about it. Easy thinks we can take that mine without firing a shot. Eh, we can try that. No, really my style, but... There's a console you need to access in the refinery basement. <clears throat> Looks like only those big mine trucks get through this gate. Uh, try looking in the mine for one? They're not easy to miss. This thing's huge. Try not to run over anybody, Rico. Nobody wants to work at Mina Roca Negra. What about the Black Hand? Roll those who have put us over, man. One of my friends from the um, army of chaos. Uh, I'd rather keep the radio on, but I don't want copyright strikes. <laughs> this thing is so fucking big. <laughs> Did he hear that? Rico just kind of just. I barely heard it, but it's just like, ah, these things are just so fucking big. It's like, yeah, they sure are, Rico. <laughs> also, I'm going 98 kilometers per hour, which, kilometers per hour compared to miles per hour, like, there's some, there's some difference there, but like, that's still much faster than I thought something like this could uh, go. <laughs> uh, now let me just quote that, Pidmon. More like, dick me Q ass. Hey. But yeah, seriously. I know one video, or several, maybe, got like, they didn't get like, copyright strikes, but they're like, oh, they got copyright claimed. <laughs> Alright, let me leave. Hostile hasn't re engaged. Eyes open for further contact. Found your console, Izzy. Oh, sorry. Let me in. I need to read the transmitter. Are you still alive? Alright, you're still alive. Sorry about that. Take it away. Okay, I have access. This could take a minute. Rico, you better check on those transmitters. We need them to take control of the base. On my way. Oh, 
them, actually. I may grab one of the weapons here. Yeah, Kuhn said it's to, to fit with the Acnum. Yeah. Lock on target, yeah. I think rocket launchers may be useful here. Um, I dropped the wrong gun. No, I, I'll get the right gun over here. Roger that. Supplies incoming, Hefe. One transmitter is up, you see. Working on it. Just worry about the black hand. Unauthorized system access at Mina Rocanilla. Terminate that uplink at all costs. You're right, Sargento. They're attacking the transmitters. You know what to do. Um. Where's. Oh, hey, there's the helicopter. Thanks for uh, leaving this unmanned. Let's roll. Okay, I'm surprised there aren't more commanders. I'm used to there being uh, more helicopters or something. Well, I'm guessing with the other transmitters, there'll be more coming. Okay, you're just a civilian. Alright. Wait, who's... Who's... Who's shoot what? Okay, I've got control of the mine trucks and automated refinery processes. Bringing up the next transmitter. Watch for enemy paratroopers, Hefe. Paratroopers, huh? Wait, whoa! Um, can I, um, can I crash into you in that, this is incredibly awkward for everyone involved, can I, That was a close call with that plane. Also, I need to do some emergency maneuvers. And secondly... Quick drop one of these. Supply drop is on its way, hermano. systems from this transmitter. You're not tired, are you? Me? Never. Bien. One more to go. Also, yeah, I called in a little drone that should help with, like, small enemies like that. Okay, yeah, it just took out the paratroopers. Or remain of them. All unit, all positions. Okay, 
anything else awkward gonna happen? Alright. Who's shooting? Really? Really? You think that's a, you think that's a good idea? Alright. Cool. This could have gone worse, but because... I guess because they don't technically see me, my heat rating or whatever it's called in this series, like, isn't going up too high? Okay. This was the last dynamic that I was hoping it would be, but... I mean... I mean... All right. All the systems are ours. We did it. Total control. Now control this region. Now we can all now call in <laughs> big dump trucks. All right. Now it's getting close to when I normally stop playing. So I think. Easy, you're oh, we're gonna. I could argue. You'd better not. We done here. <laughs> See, and so are the Black Hand. Nina Roca Negra is a sitting duck. <laughs> We're gonna badger this enemy surveillance plan. And by badger, I mean annihilate it. And yeah, it, it honestly did take some self control, not literally blowing up everything in this refinery. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Guess I'll just chill and park. But yeah, I think next time we'll start the underground street racing stuff and probably also take control of some of the uh, surrounding territories. I should... But, not yet. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and yeah, and I'll stream. I'll try to keep streaming around uh, you know, Thursdays uh, 8pm EST and yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's always weird for me to end a stream, but thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful night or evening, depending on the time zone. Later, y'all. Alright, my mic did some weird stuff, but anyway, later y'all. Now I can actually end the stream.